What's up, guys? The Hackspot here. In today's video, I thought I'd bring you guys my top 10 iOS 11 tweaks. These are my personal picks, and I'm sure you guys will really enjoy them. All right, now, if you guys are on iOS 11.3.1 or below and still haven't jailbroken, my link to my full guide on how to jailbreak as well as troubleshooting fixes fix the errors will be all be down below inside the description. Go ahead and click on that video. And again, there is so much that you guys could do with a jailbreak. It's really pretty cool. All right, now, before I go ahead and get started, all the tweaks will be down below in the description so you guys can see how they are spelled in the order that I put them in this video. So anyways, another thing is that if there is a source that you need to add, then I'll, that will be down below in the description too next to the tweak. And for those of you guys that are new to jailbreaking, to add a source so you can install a certain tweak, what you want to do is simply open up Cydia, go to sources at the bottom, tap on edit, and then add. Okay, that's super annoying. But anyways, tap on add, and you'll get this right here. All you gotta do is just leave that as is right there. I'm going to type in the source and hit add source, and that's basically it. And once you go to search for the tweak, it'll then be there. All right, so with that said, let's get started. Now, this first tweak is called Airify. So basically, when you turn up and down the volume, instead of getting that annoying volume HUD that takes up your entire screen, it just puts it at the very top in a very elegant manner. You guys see it has a little toggle. And what's also cool is when you turn the volume all the way up, let me go into that real quick, it vibrates to let you know that your volume is already all the way up and they can't go up anymore. It also does the same thing when you turn the volume down. So when it's all the way down and you try to turn it down some more, it just will vibrate. So if you scroll down and go to Airify, and there's a lot that you guys can do. As with all these tweaks, you gotta enable them first and set them to your preferences. There's so many options, it's really pretty cool. Part C is a cool tweak for your music application. So basically, you guys can see in my now playing, whenever I'm going to change the song, I can see it has a nice little interface and this looks super, super cool. It also works for Spotify too, so I can enable it for that and it's really pretty awesome. I really like how this looks in the music app. It's pretty great. And it also does show up in the control center too. So if I go right here and play a song, you guys can see it's in the background there too, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and forward through a bunch of some more songs to go, you guys. And it's really pretty awesome. I like having this like new look and it looks really elegant and cool. Now, here's the great tweak for the iPhone 10. So you guys see my battery percentage is actually up there at the top. When I go and plug my device into my computer or just have it charging or anything like that, then this will light up green to show you that, guys, that it is charging. So that's pretty awesome, too. And when it's in low power mode, you guys see it will turn yellow. So you guys still got all that functionality right there, too, which is pretty awesome. And I always thought, why did Apple not do this from the start? I hate swiping down to see my battery percentage. I like having it right there at first glance. Next, we got a tweak called Bottom Control X for the iPhone 10 again. And this one is very handy if you're on the iPhone 10, too. So basically, for a control center, you just have to go all the way to the top and swipe down from here, which is super annoying. Sometimes I can't reach and I have to like use two hands because it's just a little bit out of reach. With this tweak, you can put it anywhere. So I have it on the bottom left. So I go and swipe up like that and there it is swipe up again to get rid of it and it's so much easier guys you could just configure this in the settings so bottom control x and you could just change it for the springboard lock screen and you can just make it do whatever you want so for the bottom left you can have it just go home you could look make a locker device you could put up a cover sheet and but i have set to control center so every time i swipe from the bottom left up it will just go to my control center which is pretty cool next is eclipse so you guys probably noticed that my settings app is completely blacked out this is a true night mode for your internet entire device can enable it for every single application if you want to for some applications it might not work that well so you might, might want to disable it for some applications but for settings you guys can see it works perfectly fine here's my phone application too it's completely blacked out and just looks nice throughout the entire layout of the phone it's really pretty awesome it gives you a true dark mode and it's really saves you some battery life too because the iphone 10 has an oled display so yeah you save some battery life too if you use this tweak next up we got a local iap store now this tweak is pretty awesome so basically, you can get in-app purchases for free and many applications. It does not work with every app, but it works for many. So for example, I'm going to go to open up Subway Surfers. But anyways, guys, you do want to enable it as soon as you get it inside the settings app. And this one does require a source. But anyways, if I go to the shop, I can basically get in-app purchases for free. It's really pretty cool. So take a look at how many coins I have right now. And I'm going to go ahead and buy a crap ton of coins. So all you got to do is once you enable the tweak, tap on it. And this will come up, simply hit cancel. Just hit cancel. You don't want to type in anything. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Let me show you guys again. So I'm going to buy some coins. And it'll come up with cancel. Let me go ahead and put it back so you guys could see. And I hit cancel. And look at how many coins I have now. Do the same thing for keys or anything else. So I'm going to buy some keys. There's a stack of keys. So right now we have five. I'm going to hit cancel. And this does not charge me at all. 
Boom! Just like that, you get in-app purchases for free. Really pretty cool. Now, you guys may have noticed that my Cydia was full screen, and that is not there by default on the iPhone 10. So I really like having it full screen. And if you want this, just install it to be called full screen Cydia iPhone 10, and then it'll make your Cydia full screen if you have an iPhone 10, which is really pretty awesome. Now, another handy tweak on the iPhone 10 is bar emoji. So if I go and bring up my keyboard, you can see in the empty space right there, I now have recently used emojis. So I can go in and quickly access them. I don't know why Apple did not think of this. I wish I could just go through some more emojis too, but it's really pretty, uh, it's really a pretty cool tweak and I love it a lot. So again, this tweak is called bar emoji. Now you guys have probably noticed the animation when I go from page to page and this is thanks to Cylinder. Now I really love this tweak. It's a must have. Everyone knows about this tweak and installs it. So it's really pretty cool. You can choose from a bunch of different animations. So if I go up, up settings, let's for example, do alternate spin. You can also combine different animations together. So that's what this looks like. So my icons now spin too. Here is burn. First, so got your apps coming together and going away. So that one's pretty awesome too. Now this last tweak is called Anemone. You guys may have noticed that I have different icons on my home screen for every application. And this is thanks to Anemone. You can theme your device. There are so many themes that you can install in Cydia. That's why I'm searching for them. And here are a few that I installed. Actually, this is the only one I installed. It's called Lotus. All you gotta do is enable it. You get a preview. And then you can set it as your theme by hitting apply. Here's another beautiful tweak called Malia, and it basically supports every single icon. So that is amazing. I love this tweak. I mean, this uh, theme. And yeah, this tweak is amazing too. Anemone. And basically now with Anemone, once you apply it, so I hit preview and apply, you don't have to respring your device. Simply hit apply, and the changes take effect right away. All right, but guys, there you have it. My top 10 picks for iOS 11. More coming soon. Stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button. And also be sure to share this video. That would mean a lot to me. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.